Welcome back to a brand new Civ 6 or Civilization 6 deity video. We're back at it again playing the second of three new Civs. As I forgot to take out the Mao Zedong. Listen, at this point it might as well be a part of the permanence mod list. It even has its own unique fucking color. But uh, yeah, we're back at it. We're playing Ptolemaic Egypt. And I'm not gonna lie. Wood. Absolutely, fucking lutely no doubt about it. Her, she, the drip is exquisite, right? She's got like the triangle music uh, player type thing around her ears. She's got lots of gold everywhere. She's got like a small intestine broken up into six different parts attached to her hair. Like she just conquered it from her enemies or some shit and then gutted them or, you know what, that kind of sounds like a little too much gore for this channel. But uh, she has a new unique ability, Arrival of Hoppy. Resources along floodplains receive one food and one culture. Own floodplain styles grant one appeal to adjacent tiles instead of the usual minus one. I don't know who Hoppy is. I don't know what he's done. All I know is that I want him to come to my house next. My goodness. One food and one culture for tiles. That means this right here. The sugar. You see the sugar? This right here is going to give us five food and one culture. That is absolutely insane. Not only that, but the extra appeal makes things absolutely disgusting. I don't know if it shows right now. I guess it's all orange. It's red. You know, bad colors. Ew. Nasty. We go ahead settle the city of uh, Raw Kedit. Boom. Five food and one culture. And not only that, you go to appeal right now. I mean, nothing really changed for the most part. We just have to like conquer the other tiles first. But uh, yeah, we also have our other unique abilities. Like for example, uh, we are going to get bonuses towards districts and one dirt near rivers. We got the Mario Chariot Archer. We got the Sphinx, which is going to be in a floodplains this time, which uh, it's a little funny, not going to lie. But hey, all in all, pretty good save. We're going to try her out. The color looks absolutely disgusting, though. That looks like somebody scribbled green marker on a drawing paint wall or some shit. Uh, Resource-wise, though, we're just going to make a beeline for irrigation to get some sugar. And we're going to hit next. I'm not going to lie. I would, it's a Yadwiga almost every night thing for me. You guys know that already. But I would not mind giving Ptolemy Cleopatra some sugar. She kind of looks like she's cosplaying, like, what you would expect Cleopatra to look like in a Hollywood movie. Like the regular Cleopatra. But this one is just mwah, absolutely exquisite. Horniness aside, let's go ahead and hit next turn. We're going to explore the West. There's our first civilization, Met Siondiak of Korea. Still have no idea how she keeps that metal-plated gold hat on top of her head. And she... Okay, that's by far the worst capital I've ever witnessed in my entire life. My goodness. I'd honestly, no doubt about it, just completely FF15 at this point. Well, at next turn, hopefully, uh, we can easily take her out, maybe. She decides to, like, send some cities near us. Let's go ahead and get, I uh, guess, craftsmanship next to get Ago Gay, just in case we go for another Mario Chariot Archer spam. And there's a natural wonder, Crater Lake, as if we weren't already swimming in the luxurious resort. We have a lot of huge good tiles we can settle right now. Uh, we haven't met a city-state, so Amani's useless. Let's go ahead and get Magnus to rock at it right there. Gonna do a little exploring that'll place districts, cities, and then you guys can just orgasm or whatever it is most people do when they see absolutely insane cities in Civ 6. And there's Mount Roraima, holy shit. If we take out Antidi Navaru too, we are going to be swimming and faith, science, production, gold, bitches even, who fucking knows at this point, as we get the city of Chuncheon towards our west, that's fine, I think I will probably have to go for an early war against her if I'm being honest, so right after irrigation, I think we'll just immediately make a beeline for the chariot archers, and then there's the two, so we even get an envoy giving us some more science. Meaning, all we have to do is mine a resource. I kind of wish I didn't settle on that quarry right there. But getting a builder next and building this quarry is going to make things a lot easier. We beat the city-state of Jerusalem, meaning we also have another faith coming in. We've, we've done pretty good when it comes to actual city-states as we get another barbarian scout to the north. Meaning my rectum is about to be plugged in T-minus 10 turns. Can also get Amani and send her to Jerusalem and then Hattusa to get some extra visibility, I guess, while I work on trying to build up an army to take out Siondiak. She's building walls. That's a little bit of an issue, but if we get the chariot archers fast enough, it won't be. Pantheon time, and I'm trying to look. There really isn't anything too good for us. If we get something with floodplains, that would be really good. I think it'd be really broken, though. Uh, I guess we get fertility rights for two builders now in the capital, meaning we can build up a little bit quicker just in case, just so we can get these archers a little bit faster. And after that, I think I'm going to go for a settler. 
There's a major flood that just happened. The absolute drip is exquis too exquisite for the world, it seems. Uh, I got a lot of yields, though, which is something I'm definitely expecting for Egypt, especially in the mid to late game. We should have some really nice flooded tiles by the end of it. All right, apparently quarry doesn't count as mining a resource since it technically isn't a mine, it's a quarry. Fuck me, I guess. We got our first settler and I've already placed down all the juicy map pins. This is looking absolutely exquisite. A feast for kings, if you will. Let's go in and get that truffles and even use this builder to get the both of them. We finally finished the wheel, which is perfect. We'll get animal husbandry next and then settle the city of Abydos. Now, it's super close, so if I do end up getting, or if she ends up getting a golden age, it's going to be a little bit of a problem, but uh, I, I just had to risk it. That city is too good. And just in case the Siondiak War doesn't go through, we'll be able to cripple her because there doesn't seem to be enough territory towards the west, pretty much giving her that Native American treatment. Another massive drippy flood coming through and our sugar tiles looking even better than it was before. Let's go ahead and get that chariot archer. It seems like Siondiak's coming for my anus right now, which, I mean, I kind of like my anus. It does good things for me, so I would hope she doesn't attack me. I'm attacking her soon, true, but, uh, you know. Also, we'll go for Agogate just so we can get extra production towards these uh, Marianu chariot archers. We might be able to get a golden age now that I think about it. I know the Sphinx is going to give me, like, Four era score probably. So I, I I don't know about that. I really don't. We're gonna need another four era score somehow, and I don't even know where it's gonna come from. I think I declare war this turn actually against Korea. Korea, fuck you. I'm coming for your territory. Rightful special military operation. Excuse me. Wouldn't want to get it confused for a war now, would we? Now she has a fairly large military, but my military is much larger, and by military I mean a penis. It's a weapon of mass destruction in its own right. Let's do some damage there. Moving the warrior. This guy's probably going to retreat as far as he can. You'll get that camp. Perf. I should have actually traded truffles to her and then declared war on you. That would have been a much smarter idea now that I think about it. That's fine though. Early Empire don't really need anything as we continue massacring our military. This is most definitely getting me a trip to the Hog immediately, straight to Geneva for what I'm doing to her. Uh, after that, I think we'll go surplus logistics just to help rock out its growth a little bit. You will stay fortified. She did levy Antonin Navarro's military. She did do that. Her military's sort of scattered right now, so I'm, I'm, I'm not necessarily too worried about her. Um, I don't think I'll get the Sphinx. I think I need production more than anything. You can, you'll actually attack, I was going to say so you can move across the river, but I guess not. And again, we're just going to do as much damage to our military as, she, as we can. This warrior, I don't want to lose any warriors, but I don't want to lose this city even more. That's going to be a little bit of an issue. Let's see how, yeah, it's going to take a while for us to get these chariot archers. Can I buy one? No, I'm too broke, I guess. I probably should have followed Andrew Tate's Discord or something. Uh, what we'll do... I can't trade with anyone, which is a little unfortunate. You're going to attack. You're going to back out for now because in a little while, we should be fine and have all our chariot archers come through. Then after the monument, of course, you're going to get your own chariot archer before she gets crossbows or anything crazy like that. I wouldn't want that to happen now, would we? Uh, over here, we're going... Okay, our military is looking fine. You stay fortified. You are going to attack him. You'll stay fortified, hopefully masterfully baiting them to attack you. See what happens here, that's perfect, even though he does a lot more damage than I do, which is a little unfortunate. Finish him off, and then this guy's just completely surrounded, prostate exposed. Let's go give him that one-two punch. Uh, you can... Okay, you're gonna move there, you're gonna move up there, and then I would have attacked if I realized I could attack, and that wasn't a hill as I previously thought. A little unfortunate, but not really much we can do about that. You'll stay there. Uh, you can't promote. You can promote, which is fantastic. And as can you, you're going to bait him and then you'll move in there and promote to volley. Again, I'm just going to keep building these guys just to ensure I have an easy... Yeah, she's got swordsman already. That's, that is a little no bueno at this point. Let's move in there and can almost one-shot that guy. But I think the swordsman's a little bit of a bigger threat. And we can obviously buy another Mariano chariot archer that's four. Probably enough for me to start sieging down the city of Chunchan. Or definitely racially profiled that, excuse me, but you guys know me, I'm absolutely awful when it comes to names. There's political philosophy, meaning we can go to oligarchy for extra combat strength as well as extra experience. Go urban planning in these cities. I would go Stratagos, but I don't think I'm really, yeah, I'm probably nowhere near to getting a great general or anything. Uh, let's start moving in the forces right now. No, Chen Qian. I haven't seen an archer from her. Meaning this city should not do a lot of damage now that I think about it. 
Uh, you can move there for the movement speed bonus. Civic Wiles will go Mysticism and we'll hit next turn. That's exactly, and it does absolutely nothing to me. It tickles my nutsack. That is exactly what you like to see. Um, I think what we do here, we masterfully sacrifice this warrior. I know, I know, it might seem like something cruel, and it most definitely is, but you have to realize, I gotta get these guys into position as quickly as possible. Let's, uh, is that a hill? That's the question. That is a hill, so I'm gonna have to do damage to this guy. You're gonna fight him, and then you can't kill him, but... Well, I could do some damage at least. Oh, no, I did kill him. I absolutely love to see that. And then this guy somehow survived the incompetency of the AI. Is absolutely enraging at this point. My goodness. It's like I'm fighting against a five-year-old. And I, I'm not talking about a normal five-year-old either. I mean, talking about one who's been homeschooled his entire life in dubious circumstances type high school. Uh, we'll try our best to surround this city, considering how absolutely fucking stupid Korea is turning out to be. We'll go with drum and poetry. Here on Rock Cannon, I'm going to continue my habit of building as many military units as I possibly can. And then we'll try getting suzerainty of Jerusalem. Hit next turn, see what happens here. He again tickles me a little bit, but nothing I really have to worry about too much. I think if I move there, I could probably... I could definitely surround the city this point. That's huge. And then we'll just tear down the walls of Constant. I was about to use my warrior to attack. That probably would have been a stupid idea. Uh, you stay. You can promote, I guess. Congratulations, all of you. You're all about to be cannon fodder for my special military operation. Uh, that's 11 damage right now. That, whew. <laughs> Man, might have to surrender uh, one of these turns, considering how much damage they're doing to me. Absolutely disgusting. I'm going to take a risk and start uh, promoting these guys, actually. I don't think she'll come out with, like, uh, <laughs> we got fucking Randy Orton slithering in here, trying to RKO rocket it before I can get more units. That's definitely going to work. But, uh, again, if she gets crossbows or something, I'm kind of, ooh, she has the pyramids, too. That's going to be some nice flavor for us. Let's continue doing damage here. I would attack, but I'm not suicidal, and then we'll have even more reinforcements coming in the next couple of turns. This guy thinks he's slick, trying to cripple my sugar production. That's going to get the populace to revolt. Uh, let's go ahead and move up there. Move up there. City dies next turn, if not this turn. Uh, attacking this turn would be a good idea, actually. Let's do this. Boom, Chinchon is now ours. We keep the city 900 turns to rebellion, That and she's in a golden age. I am shocked. What the... <laughs> What type of golden age is that? I was half expecting this city to be at, like, one turn until rebellion. Because I called the people, like, a, a very bad word that they don't like. Or something. I don't know. I'm going to get a... Should, pro should probably... Okay, listen. We got to do the uh, tiles first. Now, if these yields don't wet your titty, I don't know what the fuck will at this point. Not only that, but we could come here. We could get another campus. Ooh, my goodness. I just jizzed a little in my pants. Let's go ahead and get another aqueduct there. Thing is, these are technically two rivers. We got the Tigris and Euphrates River, meaning, ooh, if the sugar wasn't there, then we would have gotten a monstrous industrial zone, but suffering from success, I guess. Get that commercial hub over there. You love to see it. You'll get a commercial hub over here. You absolutely love to see it. And just like that, I'll build a builder and then get bronze working immediately. You stay fortified. And then in the next couple of turns, we get a B-dose positive. Now, I know that ain't who I think it is. Oh, come on. I don't have the movement speed? Are you kidding me? That is probably bait, but I am going to take that bait. Uh, we'll start moving in the force. Oh, I can. I'll promote in the next turn. Fuck, that's a free settler for me. Yeah, absolutely. Love to see it. Let's go ahead and um, you'll move there, and then you'll move there. I don't want to promote these guys just yet. The Mariano Chariot Archer, again, he uh, promoted, thinking that would save him. It's, it's just target practice at this point. And then with this new settler, the good news, we can also get this city over there. My, my, oh my, I feel like, I, I genuinely feel like a terrible person for doing this. Like, I don't know how Vladimir Putin wakes up during, like, if I had to do this for a living, I'd absolutely love it, of course, because, you know, war crimes and shit. But, I, I, I don't even know, man. It's, 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 it, I just feel illegal doing, you know what I mean? I feel like I have to watch my back just in case, like, the CIA is watching me as a future potential terror suspect or something. Well, late next turn, uh, you did absolutely no damage. Should have invested in some archers. Another reason why I love archers. Archers are just absolutely the bomb. Uh, you are going to damage that. I could have done that better, I know, but I'm just too giddy from excitement right now. I wasn't expecting Korea to be this fucking stupid. Let's hit next turn. She's doing an absolutely insane amount of damage to my chariot archer. It's like a resident of... Palestine, Ohio at this point. Man, it's not making it past the next 20 years in life. Let's go ahead and continue damaging. Boom, boom, 
Move in there and boom. Again, I don't want to risk anything because knowing Civ 6 AI, I'll hit next turn right as I'm about to take the city. She'll immediately spawn Renaissance Wall, a musket min, man at arms, and a machine gun out of fucking nowhere. But uh, yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we'll be able to take her out before that happens. Here in the city of Rock, get it. I got to get a granary right now because again, I'm suffering from success a little too much. And we should probably start moving in the infantry. Huge. Let next turn. I'm hoping I'm not at war with Candy. I wasn't even looking at that. No, I'm not. That's fine. Uh, congratulations. You've done enough damage to where I really need to promote this guy. You, you got me for sure. Let's uh, continue attacking this city. Again, in the next turn, we should be able to steal it. We'll repair the granary. City rebels in three turns. Again, I can always move a money there if I have to. I don't think I will have to, of course, but that's always a possibility. Boom, 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 boom. The city doesn't die this turn, so I should probably plunder this trade route. Just rob people and shit like that. City dies in two turns. I don't have to move anyone just yet, so I don't think I will. We'll get a builder here, and then we'll go trade route to rock to make the city as strong as possible as we get currency. And then you're just going to... I thought I got bronze working. All right, apparently my chromosomes aren't functioning probably right now. For a second there, I thought I had 24 of them. You'll, so I, know I, I know I was researching bronze working. I know that for a fact, but... Is what it is, I guess. The Spearman's going to really do absolutely nothing to me. He just made me raid the countryside, so that's, that's fine, I guess. we got to keep this guy fortified, not risking him. And I will now have to move, I think... We're not building settlers anytime soon, so I might as well move Magnus in there. Go recorded history. Seven turns to Rebellion. That's A-OK -okay by me. Bronze working next turn. He's going to do a pitiful amount of damage to me. And let's go ahead and finish off. I'm not promoting anybody because I know something's going to happen if I do. Perfect. There's a city of Gyeongzhou and somehow Jinju is at six population, even higher than me. Uh, we'll move you now to Gyeongju. This should be positive and this should be a negative city. We'll deal with it at the end. I'll get archery. And then here in the city of Rock Cadet, I can finally chop that and get started on a government plaza that's huge. And then production-wise, here I'll get started on a builder or something. We do get... I would say something, but I was too enamored by his drippy armor. Uh, in any case, right here, we can now get Suzerainty of Jerusalem. I would love Antony Navarro, actually. I think I'm going to make an investment into Antony Navarro. Uh, we'll move there. Oh, she is building walls. No, 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 Trump. You're not going to get one over on me. Uh, let's move. Okay, I had two movement speed with that guy. We got to move. One, two, three. Promote you to volley. You will move there, and I'll promote you to Aerostorm, and then we can start doing some damage. It might be a little bit of a problem if um, if uh, she does get the walls up soon. Oh, no. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> well, speak of the devil, I guess. Let's go ahead. We can surround the city Fairly easily, actually. That is not a surrounded city. Gonna have to get more Mariano Chariot Archers. Again, there's so much food here. There's so much um, planes here that I could easily just uh, pillage it and something. And this this city isn't even... Again, that's a solid 19 damage. I am shivering in my timbers right now. Let's... um. We'll pillage. And then we'll move in the next turn. That's perfect. The walls are all gone. And I'll leave, I'll make sure, I gotta make sure to steal the builder. I have to, I, listen, I know how stupid I can get. I have to make sure I can steal the builder. If I don't steal the builder, I'm, I, I, I'm going to s screw this game. I'm literally just stopping this game. We're, we're not, we're not playing this game anymore. Gyeongju's repairing in 19 turns. It's fine. I'm, they're making it a little hard to steal the builder, but I'll sacrifice some surrounding the city for it. Again, we'll do that. You stay fortified. We grab the city in the next turn. And then you, sir, are going to buy that tile and get probably the greatest campus tile I've ever seen. Now, I did come into this game thinking that... Okay, I'm just going to settle the city here. Uh, thinking, as I completely forget there's barbarian boats, that I was not going to go for a uh, science victory. I'll get an archer. That I was going to go for a culture victory. Old habits die hard, I guess. i got to get some uh, theater squares out. Problem is, Saladin's probably going to hate me unless I completely genocide what's-her-face, which is probably what's going to happen, honestly. I highly doubt she's going to be able to stop me with a whopping zero military strength. Let's go ahead and start wiping the hell out of these guys. Again, just genocidal tendencies. There we are. Jinju is fine. Gyeongzhou should be fine. And then we'll go repair the granary. We did steal a couple of her campuses, too, which is really, really nice. We'll go get the corporation in there, and then this archer can stay up there. And I probably should have waited for Ancestral Hall, but I might as well just get started at this point. We'll get, ooh, we could get a sugar corporation. That would be really, really nice. And I think here we're just going to harvest chop that. And then the rest of the military is going to begin making their way. To, I completely forgot Chan Chan was struggling. I, that was one turn away from disaster. My goodness, I was a little scared there for a second. 
start moving in the forces again, you will promote to commando, and then you'll be the one who actually helps us against the final outpost of the scum of the earth known as Korea. Let's keep going. This city's rebelling in five turns. That's actually not good. I can always buy a unit, I guess, which isn't the worst thing in the world. I'll get Pingala right now and put him in Abidos. Um, you move there. You'll actually be the unit because we need this guy in Chan Chan at this point. Seoul. Seoul does have quite a population, I'm not going to lie, but uh, or quite a walls, but I don't think it's going to be the worst thing in the world. You can stay fortified in there. You'll stay fortified. I do have multiple units here who can come just in case. And these are, for the most part, like really, really strong cities. Like their capital is unironically dog shit. But these are like overall not bad cities at all. Let's go ahead and begin uh, chipping away at their walls considering that they hit like wet paper towel at this point. I might be disrespectful to wet paper towel, honestly. But uh, let's keep going. This survivor lived on what seems to be one four health. My God, is that even a division at that point? I don't even know what you would call that. Some stragglers, I suppose. The good news is we can take out the walls of Seoul this turn. I'll promote this guy, you know, just in case he does decide to come out of it. I might go for Antony Navarro, actually. I might go for Antony Navarro. That's a really good natural wonder now that I think about it. I, I might have to do that, honestly. I, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. It's only 38 combat strength. Uh, if they built some archers, it's going to be a little harder, of course, but I really don't think they did. Let's go ahead and wipe out the city of Seoul. Perfect, and there is Korea. You foresaw my own end, but not that Korea would share my fate. I mean, if you foresaw your end, why didn't you just try to change it, I guess? I, I don't know at this point. We're going to get a Golden Age in the next era, which is really nice. Uh, we have iron, so I think I'm going to go iron working. I think I am actually going to go after Antony Navarro. I'm going to declare one of them. I don't even give a fuck. I'm going after Antony Navarro. Uh, okay, here, you cannot harvest that because I need masonry. Never mind, we're going masonry for one turn. We'll give you researcher just to help us catch up in science a little bit. I'm not going to build anything in that city just yet. Uh, it says I have two production. Who else needs... Pro oh, the city of Seoul that I just massacred its inhabitants. Okay. Now, here's the thing. They have crossbows. They have crossbows. I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to attack because Mama didn't raise no bitch. But if things get dicey... I'm immediately waving the French flag, I think. We can immediately eliminate him. The problem isn't necessarily going to be the crossbow. It's the fact that they can spawn crossbows in, if that makes any sense. We'll get the campus, and then I think we start infinite settlers spamming. It's turn 83 right now, and we only have... Uh, what should I... I don't even know what I should be doing. Let's get a builder here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cities. Let's actually get a settler in that city, and we can actually move Magnus to the capital, which is really strong. Uh, actually, that's really good now that I think about it, but we should probably get started. That's a waste of a non-point entity, Navarro, I guess. But, uh, yeah, we'll go natural philosophy. No way Saladin stole Jerusalem from me. We gotta go... We actually have to go infinite settler spamming now. Two turns for a settler? I don't even have colonization! Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, I just realized it's because I took out that quarry. That's still insane, though. We gotta get started on this guy. We'll lose a population, but that's fine. We got one turn. Never mind. Excuse me for speaking blasphemy, I suppose. Let's keep going with that. Again, we can actually... This is really good with Antony Navarro. We can actually, like, attack from here, which is really nice. Uh, you'll move there. I think what we do here is... We can two-shot the crossbowman. I think we do. Let's go ahead and two-shot the crossbowman. And then you... Okay, well, they have another crossbowman in the city. That's actually kind of sucks a little bit. Uh, we'll move this guy in, and then I'll... Nah, we can't bait him in with this. Let's see how much damage they do first. Okay, they completely one-shot one of my guys on a marsh tile. Although, I was on a marsh tile, and the walls are going to be a lot weaker this turn. Let's move you there and attack, and then we'll masterfully put you in there. If they take out my warrior, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. I think we should be fine, though. Let's move there again and then attack you. Perfect. We'll get a library in the city of Chunxian. And again, if an emergency happens with Saladin, I think I can stop him. Oh, well, that's uh, the barbarians are trying to get the city for themselves, it seems. I don't think I have the facilities to stop. If I lose all my units, I think I, I think it's fine overall, especially considering how weak the city is looking to be. You're not going to be able to attack anytime soon. Uh, we'll go for sailing because I think I need some uh, coastal hub cities or whatever. Again, I lose this guy. Little unfortunate, but I still think I can do... Okay, the walls are gone. 
Meaning he can't one-shot me out of nowhere anymore, which is good. Just in case, I will bring in this warrior. And just in case, I'll do the patented TCLR strat of buying a scat. No? We have a swordsman now, actually. I was gonna buy a scout, but we can now get a swordsman. Three turns till the next turn, and I just realized I didn't have a builder. We gotta build the Sphinx. We'll go build the Sphinx next turn, and it should be one of the easiest wins of all time, honestly. We'll get a builder. Lit next turn. Golden Age in the next turn is gonna be really nice, especially if Saladin's lurking in this general area. I'll start moving in the forces. Again, they're doing the smart thing. They're attacking me instead of, like, attacking the city. And I think I'll attack with the warrior just in case because I do have a swordsman coming in. There's Apu. We'll get the monument in there, and we'll just go ahead and probably chop mine that now that I think about it. You'll get the Sphinx pushing me towards a golden age. You stay fortified. Saladin thinks I'm settling too close to his lone city over there. Well, I don't know about that, Sally boy. Uh, let's go ahead and finish off the city of Antini Navarru. We wipe them out. That's zero strength. That should be an easy win. And we get a free Mount Roraima for ourselves. You absolutely love to see it. And we only lost half our military to do it. That is absolute Putin numbers right there. Let's go chop the monument. And just like that, we are cruising to victory right now. Saladin probably won't denounce me because I only have 68 grievances again. Why do I have 68 grievances against him? What? What the f- What do you say fuck me for? Denounce the evil deeds of Egypt. 12 more- uh, You got mad because you called me the N-word? I- I have no idea what sort of logic that is, but I don't think that's how the real world works, buddy. We got incest as well as copper, which is fantastic. We'll also go for monumentality because we're making a huge amount of- well- Kind of a human, huge amount of faith, I suppose. Uh, we'll go ahead and settle this guy. That is negative 11. That's going to be rough. Let's go settle that city over there. We'll keep building settlers. we got to keep building these guys. we got a free builder in all these cities, which is really, really nice as I get the mine. We need one, two, three, four, five, six more cities. Um... I'll get a granary here, and I think we could probably faith buy a settler. We'll, we'll, we'll faith buy a couple settlers, of course, just to ease the load a little bit, and we'll now get Seuss Ranity of Candy. I'm fairly certain this is a Pangea map, although it's looking like a continent's more than anything. Let's see. Pangea. Yes, it is. Well, it's Congress time. I would love for this to be science city-states, and I don't know what this is. We'll go Islam just to make Saladin a little happy. Buddhism and scientific, and this city is not growing for... Okay, well, it's kind of the housing. I kind of did burn their crops to the ground. That's but uh, it's probably not good when it comes to the food consumption of people, I suppose. Buy this incest tile. Get that. We can make a corporation out of that now. Uh, can I trade? I can't trade my Diplo favor, unfortunately. You stay fortified. You go ahead and commit me weapons of mass destruction type beat. And then we... Oh my goodness. I fought, I, This Mount Moramus city is actually really, really good. Cleopatra has captured... Okay, it's not going to pass. <laughs> because the only person who can be in there is Sal Saladin. And he has like only like seven, I guess, Diplo favor. Would have been a problem if that wasn't the case. But thank goodness, I guess. Get construction right here. You'll move up there. Snipe him. Take that in the next turn. We can also get way more cities down here, which is really nice. I don't know if I want that Tundra city. I would like this city just to sort of envelop Saladin. None of them are the best cities, mind you, but just being able to envelop Saladin, I think, is a really good idea. And then if I could just faith by a settler, uh, 280. Now, I don't think our faith production is going to work, considering our actual production is astronomical. Civic-wise, the best thing is to go for feudalism before going into Merchant Republic, I believe. We can get Suzerainty of Candy. I think I will, just to get another suzerainship, you know, some error score and stuff like that. I'm not really too sure about, like, uh, settling this city right in front of Saladin's face, so that, that, because we, that, that's, if he gets into Golden Age and we get into a Dark Age, it's a lost city. Uh, we bought it with Faith, though, so I guess it isn't the worst thing if we end up losing that city, I, I guess, kind of, but, uh, again, it's just gonna suck if that is the case, and I actually have to go for food as quickly as possible, same thing in this city. Trade to Hattusa, giving me another two science per turn. And look at that. Barely building any science buildings. And we are at, uh, let me just chop this first. We are at 61 science per turn. Imagine I get all my cities and campuses everywhere. And my people start hating me for being uh, a pretty big douchebag, if I'm being honest. We'll be able to get harbors everywhere. That's going to be really good when it does come to, as we get another envoy, when it does come to, uh, I suppose... Uh, what am I even trying to say? Housing, yes. Housing is a big problem in our empire, as are amenities, which, uh, again, it's probably not helping considering the fact that Rock Kedit is bigger than the actual Egyptian capital, IRL. 
Over here, though, I wasn't even using colonization. That that has to be the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. We get serfdom, too, which is going to be really good. Colonization should make me breeze through this settler production as well. The only problem we have is if Saladin goes for a religious victory. He's nowhere near that right now, but if he does, and we're just pr pretty much fucked, because I don't even think I can stop him, considering most of my cities are already converted. Problem with this city-state is they are just spawning units out of nowhere, and they're coming after me, of course. You love to see that. Uh, we should be fine here for the most part, though, especially since the skirmisher probably won't attack us. Saladin has his Mamluks, but his military strength isn't near my military strength, which is really good for me. Uh, I gotta get the arena as well. I completely forgot about that. I think what I'll do here, I'll probably get the quarry and I'll send that builder to go to a... I'll send this. Nah, this builder's just gotta start focusing on chopping everything at this point, because we do need, like, commercial hubs are really important, as our campuses, that type of stuff. Now we're going to go ahead and settle the riskiest city I've ever tried to settle on, the city of Swinette. The thing with Swinette is we're going to have to try to get as much population as we can. 50 grievances with Saladin, he's probably not going to denounce me again as I get another city right now. We have been super lucky with our start. With production, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14 cities by turn 111. This might be the most I've ever gotten. I will look elsewhere to settle. Daddy, that armor is too sexy for me to say no to. But this this city, this is, I, I, I think this might be the most cities I've ever settled in my entire life and by like turn 111. Like I'm sure I've probably done a challenge before where I've like settled more cities and stuff like that. This is actually just insane. Like I have done so much here, it's not even funny. Let's keep going. Uh, you'll go and get a mine up there. And then with all these free builders, with uh, stuff like... So oh, no, he didn't. Well, that's a little unfortunate. Um, we're not going to be able to keep the city of Sana. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm not familiar with English speak when it comes to Arabic names. We'll go settle that city instead, I think. How many settlers do we need? We need one, two, three, four more settlers. I should be able to, I was going to say faith by one, but I forgot I faith bought a builder, so we'll only be able to, we'll not be able to faith by any more, unfortunately. Let's go, you get harvested. We're able to get another governor title, which is good, and I think I finally go for the Owls of Minerva, one of the best slots of all time. And then here I think we should probably go, I'd go natural philosophy, but I think the best thing to do is to just do that. Yeah, something like that, probably. I think here as well, I'm just going to run around and start chopping all this jungle just so we can get as big of a population as we possibly can. Again, we have to wait until he stops denouncing us, which will hopefully be sometime in the near future, I would assume, as right after the granary, I will go ahead and get that. As long as we're not in a dark age, I think we should be... Jerusalem is dying. Jerusalem is dying. Seven, we got to get that population up. We're playing with rookie numbers up because if we get Jerusalem, we're getting Sana as well. Now, does he have a governor in there? That's the thing. Uh, where is loyalty? There we go. Uh, I don't think... He doesn't have a governor. Hmm. We just gotta run around and start chopping everything, I think. I do think that is the play. Here now, I think I go grants with you. And you can... I, I don't think we'll be able to keep that city now that I think about it. Mm, go natural philosophy, I guess. Urban planning might be better overall now that I think about it. It's huge. And again, we might be able to take it, but I doubt the AI is that stupid to not, like, send their guy to, like, stop a city that's literally dying from them or something like that. Be able to... F oh, no, we can't get... Well, we could get a harbor, but it's a stupid idea considering the fact that... <laughs> my God, I... Ah, oh, this is insane. I have to be beside the coast to get the bonus from harbors, and Korea didn't even do that right, unfortunately. Uh, so we'll probably have to go for preserve now that I think about it, just because that's the only way we'll be able to get any sort of housing. Here now, we are, again, struggling from housing because, again, we, don't, we aren't beside a river. That was intentional, though. That wasn't me being stupid. Uh, here in this city, we'll get a granary just because I need as much population as possible before the era ends. Speaking of which, we'll continue doing the same thing in the city of Apu. And we should probably get an aqueduct over there now that I think about it. In this city here, again, we're just trying to just t chop as much as possible because we are trying to get the Colosseum. Jerusalem is rebelling in 10 turns. That is really, really good for us. I can't settle any more cities near there. I guess I'll go settle this city. Maybe that'll help a little bit. And we do have a few more cities to settle. That's fine. Uh, I think I'll get those seals, actually. 
Harvest the food, and I bet you were wishing you got a cultural alliance with me, aren't you, Saladin? Eight turns till Jerusalem burns to the ground, or uh, probably shouldn't say that, considering historical significance and all that. Uh, you were, we're just going to get the Colosseum over there, and then we are... I was going to actually buy this tile. That's a little, that's a little unfortunate. Uh, we can always just swap with this tile and then start chopping. We'll get a lighthouse in the city of Akatan. We'll also get Suzerainty of Nanmendel. This might be the perfect game now that I think about it. Not for a culture victory because I still think Arab people are the only people in existence, what, with just Egypt and Arabia in. But uh, yeah, overall, when it comes to any other non-culture victory or really domination type of games, this might be one of the best I've ever played. Here now, I'm going to get some farms. It's six population. I think I need it to be a little bit more because I'm fairly certain it'll, it'll probably send a governor somewhere, right? Uh, now that I think... Maybe, you know, just... A governor would stop that city from just bowing to my supremacy. You know that, right, Saladin? Five turns till Jerusalem rebels. That is still absolutely catastrophic. Exactly. Thank you, Eruption. But, ah, uh, oh, they're going to burn my thing. I actually need a blue water navy now, don't I? Let's keep doing some damage to this guy. Uh, you will move up there and chop even more food in Edufu. And look at over... I might as well chop the banana. Oh, I wouldn't. No, that's probably a stupid idea. Uh, <laughs> got a little too crazy with these strategies. But again, Jerusalem is looking like it'll rebel soon. And with the aqueduct now, this city should be much better at growth as we get more flood. And the next era is coming in. That is a little bit of an issue now that I think about it. Uh, we'll buy this tile just to help us. Again, you go there. Chop the Colosseum. Chop should help immensely when it comes to amenities. We'll get that commercial hub up there. This city should be fine, I think. Uh, it does have a really high population, but if we could secure Jerusalem, that would actually be insane. If we could just secure Jerusalem, there's no way we're losing any of these cities, and we're even going to get the city of Sana'a, which is insane. Not a very good city, mind you, but it's still a city nonetheless. Four turns to rebellion. Still no governor in sight. You absolutely love to see it. Let's try to make this me. Highly, highly doubt that'll happen, but I know this one's going to be production. Two turns till Jerusalem rebels, and we're also getting the Colosseum soon, which means we should hopefully be able to... We'll get close to uh, normal age. I'm not sure if we'll actually get the normal age. So that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Jerusalem rebels in just one more turn. I think it rebels next. I don't think there's anything he could do to stop it. I That is shocking he didn't send a governor into Jerusalem. I am absolutely gobbersmacked, zoomer knuckled flabbergasted he didn't do anything. I have never seen such a glorious performance in idiocy in my entire life. Saladin, your chromosomes are definitely malfunctioning right now. You gotta get some new ones at this point. One turn to rebellion. There's nothing he could do to stop it. And we'll even be in a normal age because you get error score for swiping other people's a city. You absolutely love to see it. Not if you're Saladin, of course, but <laughs> who said I was Saladin? <laughs> There it is, Jerusalem has rebelled. Now, there is a problem. Um, it's coming to me, but I just realized that the city doesn't come to you immediately, which is a little bit of a problem, meaning we'll probably have to go and try to swipe that shitty with our, uh, albeit crippled military. So what I think we gotta do in the capital here is not <laughs> continuously not build anything, and we gotta get a man at arms here immediately. We gotta take that city, we gotta swipe that shit, and then hopefully uh, we should be able to keep, we'll be in a normal age probably, I hope. At least, I, hoping we'll be in a normal age. I'm not too sure now that I think about it, but that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Sana'a's gonna come to us very, very soon, which is nice. We've got a rock edit here for the food and production. I don't think any of these cities are gonna be in danger. The only problem is gonna be Jerusalem might not come to us, which is something I don't want to happen. They have line infantry. Never mind, there is no shot we swipe the city. The only way we swipe the city is if I'm able to sneak past them, which I highly doubt is going to happen. I don't know what they're f arming the militia with, but it seems like they've drilled them in Napoleonic tactics. How the hell do you have line infantry and I'm running around with bows and arrows? No wonder you're up fucked Africa during colonization times. We got a great person at least, so we will at least be in a normal age. Ibn Khaldun, perfect. Campus gives you an increased food, non-food benefits of happiness in your empire by a metric butt ton. Jinxian's looking like a really strong city. I don't see why we can't keep him there. And I think just one last settler, because I don't think I'll be, I know I won't be able to faith by one. And let's go ahead and try to take the city of Jerusalem. Uh, that's really good. 
We, we could actually just attack the city right now. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, you're going to farm up there. I guess that should help out a little bit. You will also get a Sphinx up there just for shits and giggles. If the line infantry comes back, we're kind of fucked, but I don't think he will. I don't think he will. And, okay, well, now they have cavalry. That's a little unfortunate. Um, I will try to bait in that cavalry, man. Because I think one turn, if we could just keep that... Ca if the cavalry doesn't attack my melee unit, I'm fairly certain the city dies in the next turn. Fairly certain, at least. Uh, we'll get... Okay, I didn't mean to build the Sphinx in there, but I guess we will. And then we can get the Petra in this city. Huge. And we will get a lumber mill in that city when we can. Let's see what happens here. This is going to be very... If he attacks the Mamluk, I have no idea where he went to, but okay. Saladin's in a golden age. Now, here's the thing. Is that coming... I don't know if the city's going to come back to me. Let's just take the city and see what happens. Six. And yes, we do keep that city, meaning we'll take the city of Sana, even though he is in a golden age. Even as a governor in there, but didn't put one in Jerusalem. You absolute idiot. Let's go ahead and get that trader up there, and then over here where we'll repair the monument. And just like that, our empire knows no bounds from sea to fucking sea. I was not expecting that to happen, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Saladin just declared war on me, which is a little unfortunate. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm not surprised considering what I did to him, but okay. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I was not expecting the AI to get that buttered over a city. Uh, I think that's where I'll call it. Uh, really good game so far. We are going to get the Petra hopefully in the next couple of turns. We have 3, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We have 17. We're going to get 18 cities. Our yields are already at, if not above, Saladin at this point. We're going to get another city of Sana. We're going to... We should have been able to get another city down here. I don't know why I didn't have that pin over there. Probably have another city or even buy it or something. <gasps> Excuse me. Uh, the only problems we really have to deal with right now are two. I still want to see if I can get a culture victory. But to do that, I do have to meet other saves. And that means making peace with Saladin. So I think what we do, we I think we just build up a little bit of an army. Not to maybe upgrade these guys. You know, maybe uh, go ahead of time a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and start pillaging his lands. Maybe take homes because it has uh, Jebel Barco. Build some trebuchets, that type of stuff. We got to get districts in our capital. We got to get districts everywhere, to be honest, in general. Um, but the goal with the war would be to at least get open borders, just so I can send maybe one or two Mariano chariot archers, because I don't think I'll be able to keep Muscat or anything like that, and then maybe because he has, yeah, he knows all the other civs and who they are, which is, would be great if I could trade for their luxurious resources, but that doesn't seem to be the case. In any case, we'll get that to tomorrow's video. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.